influenza hasn't been as serious of an issue in the past couple of years, thanks to largely the, all the COVID precautions. But if Australia is in the indication, mm -hmm. scaled back COVID precautions are likely bringing the flu back into our lives, probably with a vengeance this season. It can be even more serious for certain groups of people, of course. Dr. Frank McGeorge now uh, with a push to help protect those at most risk. Doc. Definitely, Karen and Devin. So, you know, most years, the age groups at greatest risk of severe complications of influenza are the very young and people older than 65. But beyond that, there are specific medical conditions that put people at additional risk, particularly cardiovascular disease. I'm very concerned about the upcoming flu season. That's Dr. Herb Aronow, the medical director of heart and vascular services at Henry Ford Health. We already know that flu can really tax the cardiovascular system. We know that it leads to death, to heart attack, to stroke. We know that people with heart conditions are more likely to be admitted to the hospital or even to an ICU uh, if infected. So uh, I, I, I certainly worry. I know my colleagues do as well. Influenza is one of those conditions that can tip the scales. Uh, getting the flu can substantially increase the risk of heart attack, but also stroke and death. Uh, in fact, people in the week following a case of flu are at uh, about six times uh, higher risk of having a heart attack than they would be at any other time during the years. And here's why. In people who have underlying cardiovascular disease, um, they're already working very hard, their bodies are, their hearts are, to try to compensate for whatever that condition is. Maybe it's heart failure, a, a weak heart pump. Maybe they've got blocked arteries in the heart. If they are unfortunate enough to develop influenza, that infection acutely uh, is quite a stressor. In adults, uh, and in particular in high-risk adults, those who are over 65 or who have risk factors for cardiovascular disease or actually have cardiovascular disease itself, it's really essential that they get vaccinated for the flu. Now, Dr. Aaron, I will also emphasize that for people with known heart problems, in addition to getting vaccinated, it's really critical to keep your medical problems under the best control possible, meaning you should be taking all of your prescribed medications and get evaluated as soon as you develop any signs of an infection. Well, well then what about those around mm -hmm. people who have heart problems? Well, you know, that's an important point. And really the point there is getting vaccinated against the flu doesn't just protect you. It does reduce the risk of you exposing others, yeah. including your family, your friends and frankly anyone that you interact with so certainly if you have a loved one with health issues it's important to get the flu vaccine to really protect them as much as possible make a bubble of safety and Good we point. have to re relearn it because for two yeah. years we've you know Exactly. All the hand sanitizer, all the less contact. Right. We've had had a pretty good ride. Oh yeah, definitely. On the, on the but front. it's coming back. Yep, yep. All right. Thanks, Doc. Doc.